Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about function families and how to identify them based on their characteristics such as the graph or the equation. So we're going to start off by talking about what is a family of functions. Well, functions of the same family, the, the key here is they share important characteristics. So their graphs are going to look similar, their equations are going to look similar, and we're going to talk about those characteristics in this video. The most basic function in the family is known as the parent function. So the parent function is basically you could think about it as the most basic or this most simplified version of the type of function that you're talking about. So all other graphs in the same family are what we call transformations of the graph of the parent function. So some transformations that you might see are a stretch or a shrink, and that could be a vertical or a horizontal stretch or shrink, a translation, which could be vertical or horizontal, or you could also have a reflection. Okay. So the four function families that we're going to talk about in this video, we have a constant function, a linear function, absolute value, and quadratic. Now, these are not the only function families, but this is just what we're going to start with in this video. So we look at the first one, a constant function. Constant means we have a horizontal line. So it's very similar to a linear function in that it is a straight line, um, but the slope here would be zero, okay? So the example that we have here is just f of x equals one. So if we look at the bottom, we could talk about the domain and the range. Remember domain is the set of x values that are included in your graph, or you could think about how far left do you go, how far right do you go? So for a constant function, our domain is all real numbers, and that's the symbol for all real numbers, because this graph is gonna go left forever, it's gonna go right forever. So there are no x values that we don't use in this function. However, for our range, range is up and down, that's our set of y values. Well, for this one, f of x is equal to y, so this is like y equals one. So no matter what x is, y is always one. So our domain, or excuse me, our range here is just y equals one. Okay, so that's our constant function family. For the linear function family, our parent function is just f of x equals x or y equals x. And that is a straight line, it goes through the origin, has a slope of one, and also has a y-intercept of zero, okay? So in this case, our domain and our range are both going to be all real numbers because this graph is gonna go up forever, down forever, left forever, and right forever. The next family we're gonna talk about is absolute value. So for absolute value, the graph looks like a V, so you can remember that by thinking absolute value, right? Um, and the parent function is just the absolute value of x. So we can see the absolute value bars there. So it's very easy to identify from an equation. Uh, we just need the absolute value bars. And then for the graph, we need the V shape, okay? So here, our domain is going to be all real numbers because we're gonna go left forever, right forever. But if you notice our vertex or the point where the graph changes direction is at the origin. And so the lowest point we're gonna go is zero. So our range would be y is greater than or equal to zero because we're gonna go up forever, but we only go down to zero. And the last family we're gonna talk about is the quadratic function family. And the parent function here is f of x equals x squared or y equals x squared. And once again, we can identify the quadratic function from having an exponent of a two in the equation on the variable x and from the graph because it gives us a parabola, which is a U-shaped graph. So here our domain, once again, is going to be all real numbers because we're gonna go up, or, or excuse me, we're gonna go left forever and right forever. And then our range is gonna be the same as our absolute value, which is y is greater than or equal to zero. Now, these are the domains and the ranges for these parent functions but we can apply some transformations to these functions and that will affect the domain or the range. And so we're gonna look at four examples in this video. We're gonna identify which family the function is a part of and kind of what's happening to make it different from the parent function. Okay, so here on number one, we have f of x equals negative three times a quantity of x minus two. So if we look at our graph, we see, hey, this is a linear function. Also, the highest exponent of our variable in our equation was one, right? Or we didn't have an exponent, so that means it's a linear function. So it's a linear function, and a couple things we can see. Um, it was translated or shifted two units right. Okay, that's what that negative two tells us there. This graph is ha now has a negative slope, and it is steeper than the parent function, okay? All right, for number two, notice in the equation we have g of x equals one half times the absolute value of x plus three. So this is going to be an absolute value function. And we can tell a couple things. It was translated up three, translated three 
units up. And also now it is open or it is wider than the parent function, okay? All right, so we can see it's open wider than the parent function. That's because of this one half right here. So that's considered a vertical shrink or a compression and it's gonna make the graph open wider. All right, number three, we have h of x equals two times the quantity x plus three uh, squared. So we see this exponent of a two here, we see a parabola. So this is a quadratic function. Now this quadratic has been translated three units left and it is narrower, narrower than the parent function. Okay, all right, and for number four, we just have j of x equals six. So this is a constant function. And for this one, we don't have to talk about any transformations here. This line has just been, um, instead of going through y equals one, it goes through y equals six, okay? So for, for this one, our domain is still all real numbers, but now our range would be y is equal to six, okay? And that is how you identify function families with a constant function, linear function, quadratic function, and absolute value function.